Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have. Okay, yeah. okay. So we'll start. So basically, you already sent me all of parameters. So now we try to apply for prediction model, and then we try to check the prediction result also. Okay. Okay. So let me share my screen. Just a minute. Yes, please. <laughs> Okay, so you can share the script and I'll take it for, for John about that. Okay. I can you share the screen and show me that. Okay, okay. And you send me the data in my email, yeah? So let me download it. I currently send me your email, then I'll try to find out easily. Okay, just send me the email again. Just Okay, let me check. Okay, got it. Total six uh, file. As well as also need the boundary shape file of your study area. Okay, I'm going to send it. Okay, let's just share the screen and also send me your boundary. You send only for the A level C, but other variable is not here.
Just send me all of variable keep format also. Okay, send it again. Uh, uh, okay, let me check it or search it your email. Then I can easily find out. Only for the landing stand cover for a six time period. Yeah, I'll just send the shape plan as well. I'll also send all of variable. Yeah, yeah just this side. Yeah, I got the shape file. Okay. So in this case, you try to including all of file, mainly SSP, SSX, PRJ, DBF, and PRJ. Okay. So all of extension include in this file or shape file. Not only for the one. He has got the variable only for the we find out the total distance to river distance to uh, road aspect and slope yeah four five uh, and also send the all of extension mainly, mainly chef file ssp ssx prj dbf yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, then I'll share your screen. Let me download it. Yeah, I can see. Okay. Okay. Okay, your skin is freezing. No? Okay, 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 just a minute. So you can simply share the inquiry skin. Okay, so actually, other tab is not display on your only showing for the arc map. Other other attribute table is not displaying.
Okay. Yeah, I can see. Yes. Yes. Yes, so basically for your study area have a specific zone. Okay, so now for your study area, you have to find out the what is the PCS number. PCS mainly projected coordinate system. So every place have unique value for the projected system. Suppose for Bangladesh, we are use 45 degree north. Okay, for the Bangladesh. So same as for your study area, what is the unique value for the projected coordinate system? You have to find out and then set it and also make the calculate the area. Okay. yes so basically this is the pixel number so this is the pixel number so this pixel number multiply with pixel size so basically lancet pixel size is the 30 into 30 30 into 30 okay so then you also calculate the area also from here A square meter a square meter not a square kilometer a square meter basically 30 meter pixel size is 30 meter so that's why when you multiply with 30 into 30 then you can get the square meter but further you can also convert the square kilometer or hector it also possible mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can also find out the specific location or a specific city. Okay. And you can use it, no problem. Basically, we have to use the for the calculating the area distance, we have to use the projected coordinate system, PCS. But when you want to work for the GCS, mainly geographic coordinate system, geographic coordinate system is not calculate the area. So that's why you need to use the PCS, mainly projected coordinate system, and then we can easily calculate the area or distance or calculation. Okay, just open.
your internet connection. Okay, whisper. So you will be shared that convert calculating the area export. Okay. So click on the tax tab, run the code, run the code first. Code. Okay, it's loading. I think. Let's be check the result. So basically, it's this code mainly for export the CSV file. Okay, so download the data in CSV file, and you are calculating the area in CSV file. Okay. So this CSV file you can get from the tax tab. Okay. In the tax tab, we find out the one file. So from this file, you can easily download the data in CSV file. We change direction, we try to put at that subtraction, and further you can clip with that classified image, subtract with classified image. Then you will see change clip. Zero four. Okay. Okay. It, it just show only for that um one change, not for a specific classes. It just show the result for change and unchanged. Okay. Suppose uh which uh, one is change we don't get from here. Suppose water to water, water to build up. Or build up to water or vegetation to build up or this type is not showing in this code in the last two line code. This last two line of code just showing only for that changed and unchanged. Okay, just only for the two class changed and unchanged class. And recently, Google Earth engine is also updating, so that's why their server is very slow and it works very slowly. Yeah, please. Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. So basically, in the prediction, we can uh, apply uh, for the land use land cover classification. We also add this type of factor for NDVI, NWI. You can also apply. And further, for the prediction, if you want, you can also use this type of factor. Suppose NDVI or NDVI, mainly build up X and So it is also possible. For that, for your study area, we just need to create this type of tip format. Okay, so if you send me this type of variable, already send me some variable, distance to road, distance to river, or slope, or aspect, as well as we also need to create the same process, we apply and create the NDVI or build up index. So this type of things we can also include in, in our model, and then we can also make the prediction using artificial neural network or cellular automation. It's also possible. It's not much hard. You can easily do it easily. I'll show you that, no problem. Basically, prediction, I will show you the some lot of method. Basically, there is a lot of method. Prediction is also possible to use the Google Earth Engine using the machine learning. Prediction is also possible using the artificial neural network. Okay. 
so i will try to explore all of topic okay so your data data is the all all time you use the same data okay it not must be changed because you already make the data for land use land cover and also create some variable so same variable we try to apply for the different different method and we check the result Okay, so now if we'll done, then I'll simply share my screen and then we start the, for the prediction. Yes. Okay. Okay. okay so now let me share my screen. Can you see my screen? So now, okay, so let me open your data first. I already downloaded your data. Yeah. So this is the data for land use land cover data. You send me the total four factor, mainly slope, aspect, distance to river. And I think distance to road is also downloaded. It's 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 downloaded. As well as also download the shape file. Already sent shape file. Let me just uncheck it. Just unzip. So we can find out this type of data. Yep. So just I create a new folder and I store all of data in one folder. Here is more better. So I put the folder name is that. I put any name, just I just put in here all of data. So just a folder inside in here, post data. So now all of data I just I store it in this folder. So I need the distance to river, distance to road, then aspect, then slope. Okay, just I simply start from here and then I store it in my prediction for, for in the data folder. Just paste it as well as I also need that land use that cover data so it is stored in here. Just a simply part and store it in the prediction part. That's it. So now here you can see just input all of data in our deep format. Okay, so first of all. This type of tip format we downloaded from Google Earth Engine. And did you check all of data set are the similar pixel size and cell size is similar or resolution is the similar or not? Did you check it or not? Yeah, yeah. So I also check it, then it's more better otherwise. Okay, just like that. Okay. Okay, dim. Okay. The dim. Well, we can send you over the four file. Dim is not included. And then send the dim. I'll send the dem file again. 
I will try to in the meantime I also check all of data resolution and the Okay, let me check. Yeah, please, any question, please. CMR code. Ah, we try to wait also. We try to apply the cellular automation. I guess cellular automation. And we also try to apply the artificial neural network. And for using the artificial neural network, we train our model. And for the simulation, we have to use the cellular automation. So basically, it's called the AANN and CA. Okay. The CMD, CMD. CMR okay. The Markov CMR model using a hierarchical process. Ah, so what do you discuss? Yes. So today you try to apply for the A and then try to check the what the scenario. Yes, anyway. Just to input all of file. It's in this case. Okay, let me check first. Is it? Uh, equal or not? This is all of data. So just let me open from here the molas plugin, and then check. Suppose I want to predict using the initial. Suppose two thousand in. 
2024 is my final so now what is the gap between these two time 19 20 21 22 23 24 5 years so now when i apply this initial 2019 and 2024 the gap is for 5 years so predict will be 2029 okay 2029 suppose if you apply for the initial you can input the 2014 2014 and 2024 so gap between 10 years 10 years so then when you predict we can find out the result for 2034 prediction will be 2034 okay so basically in the markov or this type of plugin this prediction time prediction time period depend on the interval between the initial and final initial and final this gap or this interval depend on that uh, future prediction depend on this uh, gap or interval when i put the 10 years interval then i find out the result for 10 years prediction that was 20 years we find out the 20 years prediction i okay, suppose i put the 10 years suppose this the initial 2014 or and final 2024 or any specific time period we can apply any year you can put you can put any year but the prediction time when i just make the predict future this future suppose 5 years interval so we can predict for 5 years suppose in this case 10 years we can find out the prediction map will be 2034 look like that yeah so now suppose i put the 10 years and i also input all of variables suppose a uh, slope also input suppose elevation also input from distance to road and distance to rivers and distance to only rgs aspect yes yes so you can add the more variable lot of variable can easily use suppose center to urban build up index okay center to distance to build up lot of variable you can easily add and when you want to add this type of variable more in the dependent variable when you increase your prediction will be more accurate okay yes yes yeah 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 if you want to add no problem so with hesitation and also other thing we can also add it and it also when you increase the more variable your prediction will be more accurate okay prediction is also possible without any kinds of variable but for that your prediction is not more be good okay so when you want to work for the more better prediction for the future so then we try to add the more more variables So normally we are used at the distance to river distance to road elevation slope aspect population density as well as we also use for the urban center distance to major road distance to minor road as well as also uh, we can also use for suppose a build up distance to build up distance to vegetation distance to forest so this type of variable we can also add then you will see get the more better uh, prediction for the future okay so now after setting all of parameter initial final and also variable just click on the check geometry if there is all of variables are the same resolution then it will be good otherwise you need to more work just click on the check geometry so you find out that this type of problem so you find out the one problem you can see it show that slope dot tip basically this slope this slope are different okay this is the geometries of the initial raster basically initial raster and the slope are different it means that your data 
is not similar cell size is not similar resolution so this is the one kind of problem but we can also solve it and then we try to make the similar geometry similar geometry means that a uh, similar pixel size and similar cell number okay so okay so we try to check it first then we try to input again and then we try to check what scenario so this is the common problem for this type of model not only for that when you want to work for the other model we face this type of problem so that's why you must use the similar pixel size and similar cell size all of data so here if input all of data so all of data must be need for the similar geometries See, geometry means that similar cell size similar pixel size so let's we try to check it so how i can check it so for that we are just use here that um arc map you do it so just let me open so just i put all of data and then we further we check it for the scenario Okay, so we find out this type of data. And in this data, we find out this type of black color background. Okay. So for okay, I also input your shape file. So your shape file is that just to import the shape file also. Okay. So this is the boundary. So if I check just click on here you can see distance to road just click on here and go to the properties say so here we find out that this is a column and row number and this is the cell size okay so this column and this cell size must be need all of are the same okay? all of data are the same so let me check the another one so distance to river Okay, three seven three nine three two. It also similar. There is no problem. Okay, also check for the aspect. Aspect. Um, okay. Three seven four zero three two five. And this is different. And first one, you find out that. But it show that three seven four zero yeah, and then also check it for the slope three seven four zero okay, and also check the land use land cover for three seven three nine okay, but and okay and this distance river is the p7 p739 okay so land use land cover data is similar with distance to road and distance to river we just face only for the problem only slope aspect and elevation okay so you can check out the elevation data also so let me check it what is that p740 okay so mainly we find out the problem for the dam data okay and land use land cover data and distance to river and distance to road are the similar so elevation slope and aspect we face the we also get the similar okay so now we just try to keep the similar also suppose just i convert the elevation and slope and aspect with the same cell size and number in the model in the model you can see in the model if i just ignore this thing suppose i remove it and also just i remove it and also i just remove the remove the aspect so now if i check 
it show that yes there is no different okay and also check it from the art map also okay we may we find out the similar land use land cover and distance to road distance to river this type of data are the similar we face the problem only for the slope elevation and aspect these three data we face the problem so now we try to just only work for the three data and then we try to predict okay, so let's go and try to do it okay so how i can do it for doing these things first of all uh just click on the geoprocessing and go to the environments in this environment we set the processing extent in the processing extent we set a layer which layer i want to keep so i want to set the layer uh, suppose distance to river because distance to river land use land cover are the similar and i want to convert slope same and aspect also same with road land use land cover and distance river just put the distance river i put and further also put that uh raster analysis and i put here marks with suppose distance road similar then okay as a one is done after doing these things just i try to click on the elevation again and then data export data Three seven four zero three seven four zero. This one is that for distance to river three seven three nine seven three data result for three seven four zero. We need the three seven three nine. Three seven three nine. So we try to check and then so this is the and so change the folder and to save it in our folder. Again, I want to work for this. A download folder and prediction work in the okay. I just put in it's a elevation. I just put in here the prediction. Put the file name. Of course. And I want to add the layer. Okay. So you find out this type of data elevation. So now if I check three seven three nine. Okay, I think now okay. We try to check for it only for the elevation and but suppose just I remove it and then open the yes software and this data is here prediction word elevation tip yes import it just import elevation and now open the raster 
go to the molas molas plugin so now just we try to check first suppose 2014 initial 2024 final and we put the suppose elevation now check yes so now it's done okay also do for the same process for aspect and also slope Okay, so let me try to wait. So now it's similar. We find out. So now do for the same process for so for the expert and slope. This is the slope. Just export data and just set here P7 P9. And I put here it says slope. And save it the same folder. Just I save. Yes. Slope is also done. And finally, aspect. Yes. Aspect. Same. Data export data. Yeah. Just I put here T seven T nine in size, and I put here say. So now further open the user software and I just the plugin. Okay, now I want to import the new. So just previous elevation I remove. It's not need. It's it's not need. just remove it. This layer I remove this layer. Okay. And further flop. Just remove this layer. And then you can same elevation as per else remote it's not import the new little layer. So now just put the input the new file. So basically elevation return. I need that uh slope. Okay. As well, I'd also need for aspect. So now try to check what happened for that. So now just click on the plugins. Uh, sorry, click on the raster and go to the molas. Just click on the molas plugin, and I import the initial suppose two thousand fourteen, then final two thousand twenty four, and import a slope elevation aspect. So this is parameter. Okay, it's just a similar. Now check the geometry. Oh my God. It's slow. Let me just remove the slope and then what? So you may face the only problem for the slope. Okay, elevation aspect, distance to road, distance to river is okay. We face the problem only for the slope. Okay, let me try again for the slope. Still side. So now our four pyramid is ready. The problem will slope, slope, mainly this layer. No, I think Molas is only available for the QGS. Problem for the slope. T seven T five. I think it's some problem on the cell size also. Two six nine five nine five. It was similar, but what the problem? Two six nine five nine. No, I saw the problem. Is it similar projection or not? Is projection the, the GCS WC984? It also okay, and all are the same. 
division because of same there is no problem what's the problem for the small Data export data. Seven, eight, nine. Is it there to have similar? So now try to check it. Ah, okay, so now, now it worked. So we find out that geometries are the last are the mass. So it means that we find out that similar cell size, similar row and column number, and also a pixel size similar. So this is the first step. Okay, when you want to apply the MOLAS plugin for prediction, we have to must same all of data. Okay, then just click on the OK. And then here you can see the evaluating correlation. So basically, for the first raster and second raster, so it automatically takes this the elevation, and oh, then yeah. yeah. So I will send you the new link again. No problem. Right. So here you can see the PR sums correlation. We also can see the Karamar's uh, coefficient. Join formation at the dignity for your uh, evaluating the correlation. We check the different types of method Pearson's, Gamers, and also join information and sign. So, Pearson's we try to use and then check the result first. So, we find out that you can see it creating this type of correlation. Okay, we find out this type of confusion matrix, it's one kind of confusion matrix. We find out the elevation, aspect, slope, distance to road, and distance to river. So, if you want, you can also add the more variable. Suppose uh, build up distance to build up, center distance to center of urban, or also major road distance to major road distance to minor road. Then we find out the more correlation. So, basically, it shows the correlation value. <coughs> okay, for the elevation, aspect, slope, distance to road. So this is one kind of information for the correlation. So now we check the area change. Area change means that between the year of 2014 to 2024, okay, area change we calculate how much is increasing or decreasing. We can easily get the result from here. So just I click on the update table. So now it 
calculating or computing the transition area transition mainly water to water water to vegetation or how much air increasing or decreasing we can get this information from here so it create this type of thing here you can see and we also set the suppose square kilometer hectare i put the suppose square kilometer so basically it show the percentage okay this result show as a percentage so you find out that you can see so basically this is the different uh, mainly zero one two three four okay your class mainly zero then one then two then three and this is the four what is the zero you already know what is the zero what is the one we already know about that okay so it was we also write the name but in this case we not write the name but we know that what is the zero what is the one we know the class we find out that you can see the result look like that or a square kilometer unit and we also find out that uh, percentage you can see about that so between the two time period okay so basically you can see uh negative negative mainly decreasing okay so between this time period we find out the 1.9 percent decreasing this class decreasing okay 11 yeah yeah, yeah. it decreasing also 10.95 decreasing okay 11 yeah 11.73 increasing we find out that yes yes so this is the result about that so you can also get this type of result also from here area change and you can see the create the change map create the change map means that you can make the change detection map suppose water to water water to build up we can easily get it for the change map so just click on the create the change map so now it create a map uh, and this map represented the change detection map okay so this change will be also possible to google uh, in uh, art map but we can easily create using here between the 2014 to 2024 we can easily find out the change detection so for the creating the change map just simply uh, okay so i just uh, go to your folder i already make a folder so I put the folder, just I put this name, suppose it's a change, change, suppose 2014 to 2024, this time, then save it. So now it creating the change map between these two time period. And this map further we can also make the, using the ArcMap software you can also use. Same process you can apply same process suppose just simply input the initial this year and also final year 2024 just apply the same process and create the change map okay so you can create the change map so this map you can also represent in your work also for your paper also make the map it also provide the tip format tip format change map So basically in google earth engine we find out that multiple and but in for your work we try to put the multiple it's the multiple change detection map you can see it also added the layer this type of layer you also get you can see change change map uh, we find out that 0 to 24 if i just click on here and then uh, click on the properties then put here that single band pseudo color so here you can see Because they put the normal color look like that because further you also try to apply it for and it look like it because we are not maxing okay that's why we find out this type of result so basically 0 to 24 it means that total um 24 classes for the change suppose uh 0 to 0 0 to 1 0 to 3 0 to 4 1 to 0 1 to 0 one to one one to two one to three one to four so it look like that okay so this is the change map we try to check the prediction just a minute and yeah so we create the change map from here and further we try to apply the transition potential modeling so it's very important part for the applying that uh, potential modeling so you find out the you can see the random 
uh, than a static file. So we try to put the random, we apply the random, we take the random sample, suppose 1000, 1000 random sample we take. And further, you can see the neighborhood, we put the one pixel learning rate 0 0.010. Okay, this is a learning rate, maximum iteration, we set it. Then hidden layer, so we put the hidden layer 10. Okay, and further, yeah, so this is the, yeah. And we apply them uh, in here. You can see artificial neural network. Okay, after that, we set this type of parameter. So now we train the neural network. So just click on here, train the neural network. It's working. So you can see it creates the train and validation chart also. It creates the train and chart validation also. And also check the accuracy of your um, validation. So in this case, I find out 